Hey guys, welcome back to an Aussie farm in the Philippines. Hey mama. Well mama had a partial part of a dump today, just now. So I gave him some injections, some hormone injections to uh, and muscle off their neck. But um, uh, it's fucked. What are you chickens doing in here? So on the rebuild, it's going to be totally enclosed with fucking no chickens can get in. So anyway, right, so so parts of, parts of, I've done a lot and a lot of checking. Excuse me for smoking, guys. I'm a bit stressed out. I've done a lot of checking on, um, on the internet, all about the swine, South African swine flu and fucking blah, 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 blah. And uh, went through a lot of information on it. But it looks to me like um, they've got it. Looks to me like they've got it. Is in the fact that um, one is their temperature, um, two not eating, not drinking, and um, now it's day three. And another sign is um, uh, diarrhea and sausages. When I come come back from doing the goats, he actually had his ass over the drain, and um, that was just like a complete chemical mate meltdown of black thick oil. There was no blood in it, like um, they said there'll be um, diarrhea with, um, with um, blood because their internal organs are just hemorrhaging away. But um, there was no sign, no sign of blood, it was just pure, the blackest black, and it was just pure liquid, like, like oil, just looked like old engine oil made of the old tractor. Um, another sign of course is red ears and uh, red nostril and uh, he's got that. So first he went off the feed, then he went off, uh, off the food and water. Uh, mobility, no fucking movement whatsoever, no standing up, no nothing. He stayed virtually in that corner. He stayed virtually in that corner um, for the last three days. And um, I had to drag him by the legs to move him to try and get him motivated, but that didn't work. So first of all, it's um, no food. They don't, they don't eat and they don't drink, and the motivation goes. Second comes up the uh, the redness of the nose and the ears, and he's got the redness of the nose. What's she doing with her tongue hanging out? Precious, hey, precious, precious, you, you know your fucking tongue hanging out. Right, so let's get back to him anyway. So um, no food, they, they won't eat food, they won't eat water, they lose their mobility, they get redness around the nose, nostril and the ears. Then, um, so, then about day three of them not moving, or day two to, into day three, I said he had that meltdown, complete chemical meltdown. And uh, there's still no movement in him whatsoever. So what they say next is the, um, the skin the, the ears and the nostril goes red, but all the belly and the whole body will end up going red because the body is hemorrhaging on the inside and uh, all his organs are just turned into fucking <coughs> So, um, not looking good guys, not looking good. So Chicks tried to contact the uh, breeder again, the one that didn't fucking tell us that it's at our, that um, swine flu is at your front door. You know, he's our breeder for fuck's sake. You think he'd um, give you a courtesy call I'm not blaming it on him, don't fucking think me wrong, but I am saying, would it be nice for him to say, hey, all my pigs have died of swine flu, the uh, food grain place here in the village, they lost all their pigs as well. So uh, just to let you know, so you put all the precautions in. So we didn't know that was there. Another fact is um, we took bacon away, if you remember, two weeks back, two weeks, three weeks ago, whatever it was. And of course the guys come in We've no, um, we didn't have any foot control at the time because we didn't know it was fucking here. And uh, he's come in, walked through the pen, picked up, um, picked up bacon and brought him back out again and put him in the cart. And so of course that's your transmission there, can be. Transmission also is in um, uh, food products as well. So that's why they've banned in most countries, legit countries. And I'll say that nicely because I'm a nice fucking guy. In, um, in the Western world countries, they've actually banned the use of restaurant scraps, where people used to roll up with the old ute, the old utility, and they'll roll out a 44-gallon drum with the top cut off it, and they'll swap it over with drums that are filled up from the restaurants. Well, all that's banned in many, many countries. I know it doesn't happen here, because they, they get it all here all the time, I know that. And um, the swine flu in, can live on the meat, 
right, from a pig that's got it, that's been processed, and it can live up to 12 months in a ham or salami environment. So if you turn the pig into a ham or salami or something like that, then for 12 months that meat can carry swine flu. Fair shit. Um, fresh meat, if, if a pig's got um, swine flu, it can last up to um, three months. And frozen meat as well, up to um, three months to six months, it can last for. So it's pretty ugly fucking shit. I said, um, <laughs> we don't give them anything. We, one thing when we went to the seminar, chick went to the seminar here months and months and months ago when the swine flu first hit the Philippines area, was don't give them any scraps at all unless they're from your own garden. So if you go out and buy potatoes and carrots and um, uh, cauliflower and broccolis and all this shit and you cut all the, you peel it all off, onions and all that, you peel it off, you put it in the bin and you carry it out to the pigs, don't do that because that's transmittable. So don't do that. Only give them your own vegetables from your own garden if you're going to um, give them scraps. But we only give them BMEG. And the only other thing they'll have is um, fresh papaya from the trees. So the only way it can be they've got swine flu is by foot infection, by us not having the baths in place. And um, someone, something, somehow, it can even be chicken eye walking out the front fucking gate and walking back inside to the farm. You know, it can even be that, guys. So she's gone across to see Alfredo because he's got pigs, as you know, and he brought pigs off of us from the last breed, and he's got pigs, and Alfredo's been in here. So um, we've had to tell, um, Chick's gone across to talk to them now to say, hey, this is what's happened. We're not confirmed 100% it is swine flu, but um, let's say the writing's on the wall, bitch, you know, like the writing's on the wall. And Chick's still trying to get hold of the Department of Agriculture. Now that's like trying to find a virgin in fucking Walking Street, you know, like absolutely hardest thing to try and get hold of it really really is so i was supposed to go tomorrow and have um the ct scans done tomorrow and the um doctor's appointment so we just cancel all that out so that we can just concentrate on our babies you know the hardest the hardest one for me which you all know how much i love my animals they're not just fucking production fucks is uh my poor mama pig you know poor mama so i raised i raised mama pig from a little baby when, um, when I first come back from Vietnam, after we were only here for a couple of days, when I come back from Vietnam working, there's a guy turned up with a, um, a, a motorbike with a sidecar, and then it was the um, banana stems. And inside each banana stem was a fucking little pig. Fucking, you know, it keeps them cool and it keeps them secure. And uh, so he said, I want to sell. We said, how many you got? He said, about five or something. So I said, you right, buy the fucking lot. You know, they're only about 1,800 each at that stage. I said, buy the fucking lot, you know? So we um, grew them, we processed them, and of course, Mama Pig, we kept her, and uh, she's been our, our beautiful mama all the time, all the way through. You know, like, um, she's a 15, 15 or 17 litter mama. But she's very gentle with me, gentle as anything, you know, like, very, very gentle. But, um, it looks like it's all fucked now, and, um, like I said, the writing's on the wall, yeah. You, know, you don't have to be half fucking blind, dumb, and stupid to know that it's not. And uh, all you need is to find out someone from the ag agricultural place to come here. And if so, then um, all the pigs got to be put down. So mama pig, sausages, well sausage just about fucked, and um, uh, precious, and uh, all the babies will have to be put down as well. So that's pretty sad, you know, seriously, that's sad. Ah, fuck my dog is all I can say. Fuck my dog. So uh, we'll keep you uh, informed tomorrow, guys, if we um, have any news tomorrow afternoon. We'll keep you informed, and um, like I said, what can you do, you know? Uh, the quiz, we did ask a question, one of our viewers also asked us, um, could we have processed um, sausages before he you know, gets too far onto it, you know, if you know what I mean? But uh, we thought about that <coughs> the day he, he started to come sick, and I said to Chick, no, because the people have got to come to pick him up and that's probably where it fucking come from in the first place if it wasn't from us with our feet and uh we're only gonna bring it in but we could also be taking it out so we've just lost everything so no and she goes no i agree you're right you know we could infect the rest of the community or um they could be infecting us we don't know so there you go guys that's all i can say thanks very much for watching thanks for all your prayers and your words of thanks and uh everything else it's hard when you lose your loved ones and uh especially when it's your babies like um chick and i we really look after our animals so fucking well 
you know, some people just go, ugh, they're just fucking animals. But I'll tell you, when you look after them 24-7 yourself, not just have some hired fucking hand for uh, 250 pesos a fucking day, just go and feed them and you just say, oh, you're going to bring fucking pigs and goats and chickens. When you do it all yourself and you're all hands on, you know, like the babies last night, I was up at midnight, midnight with them, I was up at three o'clock or three thirty with them, and of course five o'clock, giving them all their bottle feeds and all that stuff. So um, yeah, we are hands on, and it's hard when you love your animals so much, and to see all the pigs put down, we know we have to do it. You know, that's it. And as I said, the chick on day one when he was getting when when she rang up the um, the fucking breeder to ask him to come and um, cut the pig's teeth because that's part of the job. And when he said, oh, swine flea, they're all dead, I said, fuck my dog, chick. I said, well, be prepared, hun. I said, we could lose the whole lot as well. Just be prepared. All right, guys. Love you all. Catch you later. Thanks a lot. Bye.